नेक्स्ट कम्स द युगादि राशि इट्स आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एरीज लियो सेजिटेरियस आर सत्य युगा राशि दे गेट इजी मनी और इजी एक्सेस टू रिसोर्सेस सेवेंथ लॉर्ड इन सेजिटेरियस एरीज लियो यू वांट टू मैरी यू क्विकली गेट अ स्पाउस यू क्विकली गेट पीपल हुम यू वांट टू मैरी टू बाद अगेन एन एक्सेप्शनल रूल दीज आर द नॉर्मल प्रिंसिपल्स राइट दिस मच तो आई थिंक यू अंडरस्टैंड बाय फार राइट सो इट इंडिकेट्स दैट यू विल गेट इजी मनी नो इशू Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn are Treta Yuga signs. These people get money by roaming. Sales are not there. They have to find a new customer every time. Tenth Lord, eleventh Lord, both you have to use. Nature of profession and the type of income. Eleventh Lord in Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you easily earn money. Tenth Lord in Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it comes through new people every time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius indicates money by business. Rather, you say money by association, money by relationships, money by contacts, and not by the nature, quality, etc. of the native. Contacts plays a crucial role, and Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces are Kali Yuga Rashi's almost no or very negligible. Uh, what uh, access to resources? The accumulation of money seems to be difficult, and there are. problems related to the accumulation of money this is how it is used also you know i should explain it a bit the sati yuga is the time of the sages and rishis and everything so mental faculty intelligence is the prime point here just by, just only if i am saying it is the time of the rishis and sages and when all the vedas and puranas are written you understand how to take it Treta Yuga is that time when Rama comes into the game. A truthful, obedient person, obeying his parents and all of that. Though few bad people are also there, but bad people like Ravan are also having ethics. So that's why Ravan is getting applauded nowadays because he is having a little bit of ethics also. People are listening to everyone. There is no one who is speaking a lie. Everyone is truthful. No one will say any lie to anyone. then comes dwapar yuga when krishna comes into play and we jealousy is there competition is there people are lying people are cheating each other like the death of aswatthama and all of that this lying was there there are few people like yudhishthir but they will suffer the political game needs to be played things have to be understood multiple marriages etc came into play and lastly comes kali yuga which is a manifestation of anything everything that is bad in the world so primarily speaking the approach that needs to be taken you know approach to go to the resources because yugaadi is all about resources so the approach that you have to take the resources the approach that you need to succeed in life and finally where the maximum planets are there if in horoscope because you know this is a very important principle maximum planets are residing in which sign which we were very strongly doing some classes ago maximum planets residing in taurus virgo and capricorn this is a treta yuga sign technically so the person is quite truthful obedient obeys the ethics and everything that if we are doing this profession we are not supposed to do this and this and this and this and this is my dharma this is my duty if this is told i will do this obedient and all of it so maximum focus of planets in a house the approach that you should take for getting the resources and how easy or difficult it is to get the resources Once again, all these principles are simultaneously used in the natal chart also, and simultaneously used in Prashna also. 